Okay, uh, my, my name is Nabi Price. Um, this video is uh, made on the occasion of my first exhibition in Italy at Gallery 6 in Milan. Um, it's been an interesting experience. Uh, I've been living in Milan for about three weeks. Um, it's been a challenge as well because these paintings um, that have come to be what I call my work um, generally take quite a long time to do. They generally take, I don't know, maybe a month, two months um, from start to finish. So the, the, the kind of challenge or the opportunity um, to make two quite, quite large works in um, quite a short amount of time has been it's been very interesting um, and very intense actually. Um, when I first got to Milan uh, I kind of walked around to gather images for about two days um, just purely without any agenda whatsoever just walking uh, and following what kind of uh, rhythms or um, whims that, um, that I had at the time until I found just things um, that caught my eye. Uh, there are certain concerns with what ends up catching my eye. There are always kind of formal concerns um, and kind of geometric concerns. Um, I'm very interested in the the kind of line between abstraction and figuration, um, but played with in a way that belongs very much to a representational um, photographic uh, framework. Um, the paintings themselves tend not to be very photographic, of course, but um, the overall kind of aesthetic ends up, especially reproduction, especially um, um, especially when you can't see them um, in the flesh or the canvas. Um, yeah, they, they look very photographic, but they're, they're, they're really not. They're kind of, they're very loose, but on a, a small scale. Um, it's kind of a, a shorthand for a photograph that I aim to, to achieve. So there are there are little kind of flicks of paint and dots and dashes that end up performing the function of um, of illusion, um, wherein they're actually just kind of very painterly marks um, when you kind of uh, when you analyse them. Um, I always aim for the the paint to kind of do two things for it to function illusionist illusionistically um, and photographically but also for, for it to be kind of unashamedly um, painty <laughs> if that's a word it is now um, and for there to be a, a real evidence of, of what the paint itself wants to do so there are frequently drips um, bumps, lumps um, the lines that might look very straight um, from a distance, um, the painted lines aren't. Um, there's, there's this really nice phrase that I heard the other day, but I can't remember where I heard it. Um, the line becomes the breath of the painter. Um, I really like that. Um, so when I might make a line here, instead of it kind of being very mechanical, it's got lumps and kind of it widens and narrows according to, like I said, the breadth of the painter. Um, and that happens all over the work. So we've got kind of more of it happening here. Um, and I, I consciously exaggerate things like that to kind of to subvert um, the photographic representation. So while 
the painting definitely belongs in the in the kind of realm of, of photography. It also aims to subvert that. It aims to kind of um, almost sabotage its own its own um, existence in a way. Um, so all of these things that these illusionistic bits of paint are all kind of there to can't yet fool the viewer into thinking that something is real in inverted commas. Um, at the same time, these things are, are going against all that. So, um, for instance, on this painting as well, up here we've got this uh, piece of red straight from the straight from the tube, completely not mixed at all, um, and that's the furthest thing away in the in the picture. But as uh, we all know, red comes forward, so our eye wants to see it as the closest thing to us, but it's not the furthest thing away. And I, I frequently like playing little games like that. Um, I'm interested in how far I can push um, an image composition um, towards not working um, before it really doesn't work. Um, so, for instance, with, with this one here, um, it was a deceptively complicated um, image to draw out, for instance. Um, my kind of uh, choice was informed by the kind of centerpiece of the painting, the focal point, if you will, the thing that I pointed the camera at being nothing, it being uh, just this blank uh, green rectangle. But of course it's not a rectangle, it's some kind of strange rhomboid shape. Um, and the eye level, whereas we, we might expect an eye level on a door, a door like this to be about here, the viewer's eye level isn't because we're looking down the back, so our eye level's around here. So there are a lot of perspectival issues to play with and to struggle with with this painting. Um, <laughs> this is one of the ones that errs on the side of um, a composition that doesn't quite work. But I think I think it works better now than it did. Um, so after that two days um, walking around Milan, I've been in uh, this studio, which is also the gallery. Um, just painting away for about, in a real kind of business-like uh, fashion, about eight hours a day. Um, and I was expecting these paintings to look quite different than uh, my, my regular output because of the, the, the time factor. I think um, they, they've taught me quite a lot about, um, about how I paint, actually. Um, this one is kind of un unusually uh, expressionistic in handling, um, which is something that there are usually elements of in, in my other work, but this is a kind of a bit more overall. I hasten to add it's not finished yet. <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be a little bit tighter and the lines will be a little bit straighter at the end. Um, and that, that kind of expressionistic thing was something I was expecting to happen quite a lot, um, purely uh, because of the time factor. Um, and it hasn't so much in, in this painting. Um, this painting's just become a lot more, a lot more minimal, uh, which I also quite enjoy. Um, it's always quite nice, and not knowing what I'm going to end up with, and to a large extent, I, I never do. Um, so overall, I think uh, this experience has been, it's been very good. Uh, I look forward to seeing the show.